One of the best features of Unreal Engine or Unity are their post-processing effects. You can easily create volumetric fogs, god rays, sky effects, and best of all, add lens flares in just a few clicks. This is the kind of functionality we just dream of in Blender. Of course, you are able to do a bit of this in Blender, like adding volumetrics, but it takes a lot of work and tweaking to get it to look good, unless you're using the new Pure Sky 2.1 add-on by 3D Vision. Now you can create procedure skies with amazing post-processing effects and lens flares in just a few clicks. This add-on is by 3D Vision, the makers of CarRig Pro and BotRig Pro, one of the most used add-ons in the community. So when you hear they have produced something new, of course you have to get excited. Pure Sky 2.1 is a 100% procedure sky which can generate a blue or stormy sky with a realistic or cartoon style. You can animate the sky automatically or manually. You can compose your sky to have great sunsets and the lens layer feature can detect obstacles and change the brightness of your scene in real time. You can also create time lapses for your scenes and have accurate daytime representation using their minutes, hours, day, week, monthly and year parameters. This procedure nature gives you a level of creative control that you are not going to get with any other add-on. You can change the time of the day to have a sunset or sunrise all in one slider. Achieving this kind of effect with the level of precision and control this add-on gives you is remarkably difficult to set up in Blender and now you have it at the tip of your fingertips. You also have the ability to animate all the effects you have using the animate panel. So if you want to get this add-on, I'll be leaving a link in the description so that you can check it out yourself and see how amazing it is. But now let's look at some of the features that come with this add-on. If you go to their download page, you can see how the pros have been using it to create amazing images. This add-on was used to make the sky in the official Blender 2.92 splash screen image. Just look at how amazing this, this, this came out. There are tons of features you can come and check out. Again, you can look at uh, a link in the description if you want to download uh, the add-on. So let's see how to use. So this add-on is not a script that you install through the preferences, but when you download uh, the add-on, you just get this Blender project file and all you have to do is append this uh, Pure Sky collection into whatever scene you're trying to use. So let's set up a quick scene here. So all you have to do is go under file, append, and then find where you have downloaded the, uh, the blend file, then select it, then find, go under collections and find uh, the Pure Sky 2.1 optimized and select that and that. Now, if you go into your outliner, you should see that uh, the, it has been imported. You can see there'll be some objects added here. Uh, this is going to include your Pure Sky camera. So you can just select that and then move it to wherever you want to into the scene. Now I can delete uh, this cube. Now if we go to this camera view, uh, this uh, Pure Sky camera view, so control zero and go to the materials. You can see that uh, we are now seeing the optical flares, but uh, we don't see the sky just yet. To view the sky, navigate to your shader editor and then change from object uh, to world. And then in your node settings, you can see that uh, there is now a Pure Sky optimized node tree so select that and that should give you your sky now everything is ready to set up it's very very simple so now if you go to your sky settings you can see that uh, you have these parameters uh, that you can tweak uh, so for the sun if you expand this you can see we have uh, control over we can we have control over the brightness have uh, the sunset we have the horizon height Basically, all the features we have been talking about. Uh, you can also, uh, if we expand the sun, you can change uh, the size of the sun, the lamp, contour. So you have a lot of different settings uh, you can choose from. So if we add, say, a plane, uh, let's uh, just uh, scale it up to mark our horizon. Let's go back to object, put a new material. Let's see if we give it a reflective surface. You can see we can easily create a nice horizon. And maybe if we added in some ripples to this,
so we can add some noise bump map and now we have an ocean with a nice sunset yeah so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video